southwest Georgia. Normally we're building pole bars, but it's kind of hard to build in the rain. So today, you know, part of our business that we do besides building barns is we, we farm hay. So we cut hay and roll hay. Well, this old 4455 John Deere here, the air conditioning hadn't worked in, I don't know, six or seven years. So we decided we're going to try our best to create our own air conditioning this tractor. So what we did is I went to Walmart, bought this Igloo cooler, it's a 28 quart. This cooler fits perfect right there on the side of the fender well. Next thing we got is a transmission cooler. This is a small one. Uh, I got it off Amazon, 20 bucks. We got us a little governor. This right here is going to go to our little fan. And you see this fan fits perfectly on this. So we can blow right through. So once we hook this to the governor, I'll be able to control my speed in the cab with a little governor on the fan. Got our pump. This is a 12 volt fountain pump is what they call it on Amazon. We're going to hook it to this line on one side. Come in here, have another line. And we'll, we'll get into how this is designed when we start building it. But it's going to allow cold water and we put ice and frozen packs in here to pump through here, go through the fins. The fan's going to blow it on my face and it's going to feel good. Anytime you buy these small coolers, they never have a way to drain the water. So we bought one of these. So we're going to put it right here, tighten it up. And at the end of the day, we can drain the water out and try to keep the water clean. Also part of the product, it's just easy enough. It's $4 at Amazon. Red and black wire, that way we can't mess anything up. Right here, when we get ready, this is insulation that's going to go around our lines that we're going to go to our little uh, transmission core there so that we kind of do the best we can to keep it cold as the water pumps through while we're cutting and baling hay this year. Well, we're gaining on it here. We've got our fan connected to our little radiator. On the sawmill, of course, you know how we are. We cut some batten strips for a barn, so I took a little piece, took a little clamp. We screwed everything in. Uh, so this is rigid. You see how rigid that is? We drilled two holes here because that's completely out of the way of any of the gear shifts, throttle, no wires or nothing. Ran them up underneath here, put this little hole right here, the light, zip tied it. We got both our lines coming in the very top of the cooler. The reason why we're going to the extreme top is in the cooler is going to be water with frozen ice packs and ice on top of it. So the higher we are, once we close the lid, there shouldn't be a lot of sloshing going on. But all we got left now is we're going to put some insulation around the pipes, hook up our wires, hook up these wires. And we're going to put some little alligator clips right there on the battery uh, to be able to make this system work. All right, so as you can see here, folks, we've got the regulator on. The fan's running, and we can turn it up to 100%. We're able to turn it down to about 50 or so before it actually tries to cut off real slow. So we have a way to be able to um, adjust our fan. All right, so we've done our dry run, excuse me, wet run on our project. We've got all our lines, got everything running through our little radiator to our fan. We hook everything up to some of these alligator clips, we decided to go ahead and do the big ones, you know, one set, and turn it on. The little pump in there, the little 12 volt pump, is pumping perfectly. The neat thing is, it's about, I don't know, 85, 86 degrees outside right now, and just the water that we pulled out of the tap blowing through that, you can feel a difference. Stay tuned because <clears throat> we're gonna have uh, video number two with this running in the field cutting hay. Anything's better than 150 degrees with just the doors and windows open. Thank y'all for watching.